I want to take you on a journey back to 2020, a year where the world imploded. However, before it imploded for normal people, it imploded for Doctor Who fans, when in March of that year, just before the pandemic broke out, the episode The Timeless Children aired, establishing that the Doctor had many lives before the William Hartnell incarnation that we as an audience are familiar with. And a common idea that was thrown around at the time was how many amazing stories that could be now told that couldn't be told before without the addition of Doctors that existed before Hartnell. And four years on, I'm still waiting for those stories to be told. What got me thinking about this was two things. There was a TikTok doing the rounds, talking about the Timeless Child, which blew up, but also the recent announcement of the Fugitive Doctor Big Finish box set series, and the reveal that her very first story would be her meeting the Daleks. And it was at this point that I sat and thought to myself, is there actually any story that's been told since the Timeless Child reveal that could not have been told without the specific existence of pre-Hartnell Doctors? Because there are stories that have been told since that are elevated by other aspects of the Timeless Child reveal. Season 1 delves a bit into the Doctor as an adoptee, and how that affects his relationship with his companion Ruby Sunday, who is also adopted. Similarly, the idea that the Time Lords experimented on a child to get regeneration does at least add to them as kind of shady elitists that they always were in the original series. But I'm talking specifically about what impact the addition of pre-Hartnell Doctors has made. And if I'm completely honest, I can't think of anything other than specifically one thing, which is now to say that every Doctor we've ever seen can now count. For instance, Russell T. Davis was recently interviewed about the Schalke Doctor appearing in Rogue, and he said that now, since the Times Child and all these other things, every Doctor can exist, and that was like his way of honouring Paul Cornell, who worked, on the original Schalke Doctor, who kind of got shafted by Christopher Eccleston's Ninth Doctor, coming in and kind of superseding that original reboot that was done by BBC I. And whilst that's a lovely and noble thought, and I really think that's a nice sentiment, was it really worth adding this entire new section of the Doctor's life for? Now, many of you may be shouting at the screen, what about Doctor Who Flux? That's a series that revolves around the idea of the Doctor coming face to face with a villain that they don't remember from the days where they were pre-Hartnell. And my response is, you could still very much easily tell that story without it being pre-Hartnell. You just change it to her mind had been wiped at some other point so she didn't remember them. In fact, most of the things that were added in The Timeless Child already existed in Doctor Who continuity elsewhere. Things like The Division, a secret Time Lord agency that do shady things, already existed in the canon. It was called the CIA, the Celestial Intervention Agency, which essentially did the same job. The only difference was the Doctor wasn't part of them in lives they never knew, but they were still a secret organisation the Time Lords had. And specifically, they worked with the Doctor in the sort of Season 6B period, which for those of you who aren't aware of the period kind of in expanded media between the second and third Doctor that people have kind of created where the second Doctor would do missions for the Time Lords. So there's a version of Flux you could very easily tell that changes very, very little, where instead of the Doctor knowing the Ravagers from when they were before Hartnell, it would just be from when they were between Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee. Would that be kind of convoluted? Yes, but also probably not that much more than what we already had. So I'm kind of at a loss with this video. What benefit did pre-Hartnell Doctors have? I guess something else you could say is that now anyone can see themselves as the Doctor, as Joe Martin was the first person of colour to play the role. But now we have Shooty Gatwa, that point also doesn't really do much for me either. And I know people will say that technically it's been a lot longer than four years since the idea of pre-Hartnell Doctors was kind of floated. It was floated originally with Brain of Morbius. That was the original intention of the story. And you're right. However, there is a reason why everyone ignored it afterwards because it didn't really add much to the Doctor as a character. And four years on, I can't help but agree. Like I said, there are aspects to the Timeless Child that are interesting. There are aspects that can work in certain stories. I think specifically episodes like Wild Blue Yonder 
dealing with how exhausted the Doctor is with all this newfound knowledge. I think stuff like that is quite well done. But specifically the introduction of a whole cavalcade of random Doctors before we know the Doctor hasn't really done anything for the character. At this point, I'm not sure whether it can, or at least I haven't seen it be used effectively. And I'm sure the people in the comments will have ideas for how you can use it effectively, but my point is that it hasn't been yet. And I don't just mean in the main show, I mean in ancillary media as well. I don't want this video to come across as someone who is still mad at the Timeless Child four years on. I've largely moved on from it, and I'm enjoying the show for what it is currently, and criticising it for what it is currently. But at the same time, I can't help but feel that a lot of what the Timeless Child did, specifically when it refers to lore, was done more for the sake of having like a lore edition than it was to have any impact on the show or the character narratively. Because even the stuff that I mentioned later on about them delving into the Doctor being adopted, that's mainly a Russell edition. Juvenile's rendition of the concept doesn't really delve that much into that at all, and is more about the Doctor feeling bad about being lied to, which I guess there's something in that, but also, it's the Time Lords. Why are you surprised that they were unfair about this? They literally put you on trial for something you didn't do. And this isn't also to say that I don't like the Joe Martin Doctor. I do. I quite like Joe Martin, and I quite like her version of the character, and I'm looking forward to seeing what she does on Big Finish. But I think in the end, I would have just preferred it if she was either a Doctor from the future that the Doctor didn't recognise, or, alternatively, the 6B thing. I know the 6B thing is a little bit convoluted, but in hindsight, I think it might actually make the character more compelling because by having pre Hartnell Doctors, you kind of have to have the Doctor exist in a state before their character development as the first Doctor, which makes the Doctor a profoundly less interesting character than they would ultimately go on to be. It's sort of the same reason why, for me personally, the Ninth Doctor audios, as much as I'm sure some of them are fantastic, never really grabbed me because a lot of what I loved about the Ninth Doctor was the development he went on because of Rose. Similarly, the Doctor without the influence of Ian, Barbara, and Susan just isn't really as compelling of a character to me. And I also feel that having them face the Daleks before that first encounter and approaching them in the exact same way we'd always expect the Doctor to do just makes the Doctor less interesting. I think I would be more on board with, say for example, pre hartnell Doctors if they were more scummy, if they were a bit more like sort of morally dubious. And I guess you could say that the Fugitive Doctor has a gun, but in the story of Fugitive the Jadoon, she very much is portrayed as anti-gun the same way every other modern Doctor has been. So I'm just not really sure what narrative potential this had that couldn't have been done without it. But what were your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. I apologise for not uploading in a while, but this was just a thought I had and I felt like getting it out there. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.